So the next talk is titled Instance Level Human Parsing via Part Grouping Network. Uh, authors are Ke Gong, Chao Dan Liang, Yi Cheng Li, Yimin Chen, and Liang Lin. It will be presented by Ke Chong, I guess. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ke Gong. I'm from Sanyasan University. It's my great honor to be here to introduce our recent work about instant-level human passing. This work is done together with Xiao Dan Liang, Yi Chen Li, Yi Min Chen, Min Yang, and Liang Lin. Here comes the outline of our presentation. First is the background. Human passing, also named semantic path segmentation, aims to decompose a human image into semantic fashion or body parts. Previous work only focus on the single person passing task in the simplified conditions, which disregards more real world case where multiple person instances appear in one image. In this work, we aim at resolving instant level human passing, which needs to not only segment various body parts or clothes, but also associate each part with one instance, as shown in this picture. Besides the difficulty shared with single person passing, like various appearance, viewpoints, and occlusions, instant level human passing is more challenging because the number of person instances in an image varies largely and more complex labeling of the training data is needed. Our target is also very relevant to instant level object segmentation. However, the proposal based method like mass RCN may fail to model the interaction among different instances and may generate inconsistent results for localization and segmentation. On the other hand, proposal free method like SGN need to separately learn several sub networks and resource to complete post processing to attempt the final result. So in this work, we reformulate instant level human passing by tackling two coherent segment grouping gods where a unified network. First, part level pixel grouping can be addressed by semantic path segmentation that around each pixel as one part label. Second, instant level part grouping can determine the instant belongings of all parts by instant aware edge detection. Where parts that are separated by instant edge will be grouped into distinct person instance. We call this detection-free unified network that jointly optimize semantic path segmentation and instant aware edge detection as path grouping network, denoted as PGM. Here comes the proposal framework. Our network first learns shared representation and then appends two parallel branch with respect to semantic path segmentation and instant aware edge detection. As the two targets are highly correlated with each other by sharing coherent grouping gods, PGN further incorporates a refinement branch to make two targets mutually benefit from each other by exploiting complementary contextual information. We use ResNet101 network with actual convolution as our background sun network. To combine semantic and appearance information, we concatenate the activation of the final three blocks as the extractive feature map. For the semantic path segmentation branch, 
we apply PME pooling module to capture more global contest information, which is also used in the instant aware edge detection branch. What's more, we attach three side outputs with actual spatial PME pooling for edge detection to robustly detect boundary at multiple scale. As for the refinement branch, we integrate the segmentation and edge prediction back into the feature space and combine them with the extractive feature maps, which are finally fed into another two preliminary pooling module to mutually boost segmentation and edge results. With the well-predicted path segmentation maps and edge maps, we then employ a simple instant partition process to generate instant-level human passing. First, we simultaneously scan path segmentation maps and edge maps to create horizontal and vertical line seg segments. To create horizontal lines, we slide from left to right along each row. The background position of segmentation maps are directly skipped, and a new line starts when we hit a foreground label of segmentation. The lines are terminated when we hit an edge point, and a new line should start at the next position. We label each new line with an individual number, so the edge point can cut off the line and produce a boundary between two different instances. We perform similar operation but slide from top to bottom to create vertical line. The next step is to aggregate these two kinds of lines to create instance. We can treat the horizontal line and vertical line jointly as a connected graph. We traverse the connected graph by the brief first search to find connected components. In detail, when visiting a point, we search its connected neighbors horizontally and vertically, and then push them into the cube that stops the points belonging to the same regions. As a result, the lines of the same instance are grouped, and different instance regions are separated. This simple process may introduce errors if there are false predicted in edge points inside instance, resulting in many small regions at the area around instant boundaries. We further design a grouping algorithm to handle this issue. If a region contains several semantic path labels and covers a large area, it must be a person in certain regions. On the contrary, if a region is small and only contains one path segmentation label, we can certainly judge it as, an, as a wrongly separated region and then merge it to its neighbor in certain region. By associating the person instant maps and the path segmentation map, we can get instant level human passing results. We have validated our path grouping networks by a series of experiments. First, we summarize the publicly available data sets for human passing in the table. To, best, to our best knowledge, it sets Pascal person path with around 3,000 image. There is no large-scale data set for instant-level human passing research. So we introduce a new data set named CIHP, short for Cloud Instant Level Human Passing, which contains more than 38,000 image with pixel-wise annotation of 1970 paths in instant level superior to the previous attempts with average one or two person instance in an image. All image of our CHP dataset contains two or more instance, instance 
with an average of 3.4. The data set is elaborately annotated, focusing on the semantic understanding of multiple people in the wild, as shown in this figure. The first lines are the original image. The second lines are the label maps of semantic path segmentation. And the third lines are the label maps of instant level human passing. We first compare our PGM with the state-of-the-art methods on the Pascal person path data set. It shows that our method achieves the best performance on semantic path segmentation, instant aware edge detection, and instant level human passing three tasks. It verified the rationality of our PGM based on the assumption that semantic path segmentation and edge detection together can directly describe the key characteristic to achieve good compatibility in instant level human passing. Here are the results of different components of our PGN evaluated on the new proposal CHP dataset. Our method also outperforms all the baseline models. The virtualized results also shows the superiority of our proposed method. Overall, our PGN outputs very semantic, semantically meaningful prediction thanks to the mutual refinement between edge detection and semantic path segmentation. Here comes the conclusion. In this world, a neural path grouping network, PGN, is proposed to solve multi-person human passing in a unified network by reformulating it as two twin grouping tasks that can be mutually refined, which are semantic path segmentation and instant aware edge detection. We built a new large-scale benchmark for instant level human passing to push the research boundary of human passing to match real-world scenarios much better. Last, our PGN achieves state-of-the-art performance for all the semantic path segmentation, edge detection, and instant-level human passing tasks. This is all of my presentation. Thank you so much for your attention, and welcome to read our CHP data server set. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question. Yeah. Thank you for presentation. Um, I wonder if uh, there is a case when instance edge detection fails and there is gaps in in edges, and what would happen? Uh, you mean the the instance where edge detection fails? Um, yeah, right. Um, yes, uh, the, this is uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, big, biggest uh, limit, limitation of our methods. So uh, our method uh, require, uh, uh, our method depends uh, highly on the instant aware edge results performance. So, so maybe, uh, um, when, when you uh, design the network, you should uh, uh, see more about how to uh, improve the uh, performance of uh, the, not only the path segmentation, but also the edge detection. Okay, thank you. Any other question? Yeah. Um, you you means uh, there are 
multiple person in a group. And no, I mean an instance is, br uh, is broken into several connected components. Um, uh, like a person standing and someone standing in front of him. So his hand yes, is yes. Uh, if if uh, two person uh, stand uh, closely, and if uh, uh, maybe uh, one hand of the person and uh, uh, touch the the the, the, uh, the 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 another person, maybe uh, the the hands uh, are cutted by the other person. Uh, uh, the hands may be uh, detached by uh, as uh, another person. So in this case, our methods may uh, uh, perform worse. Uh, uh, this is a very interesting uh, question. So maybe we can uh, discuss uh, later in the post session. Thank okay, you. let's thank the speaker again.